Day European Track Racing Championship weekend is here at the Nürburgring. The tradition steep circuit venue for the 32nd Truck Grand Prix is the highlight of the year for many track racing fans. They flock to the Eiffel region every year and make the weekend really special. The fight for the title is at the centre of attention this weekend, a battle between Adam Lachko, Steffi Hahn and Jochen Hahn. The pressure you make, you make itself. The goal, like always, is uh, to win races and to have podiums. It is not easy and we will see. Will Adam Lachko, the Czech ace, who is the overall leader, be quick enough to prevail against his two German pursuers? <laughs> when I'm leading or not, it doesn't matter because we have only two racing weekend behind us and hold the season in front of us and I would like again so much point what is possible bring from the Nürburgring. Will Steffi Howe match her competitors pace once more and annoy last year's dominant drivers at least a little? I was second in the in the championship but I knew that uh, Adam would come in Misano then Jochen got some problems and uh, I stay on second place it's uh, fantastic for me but I know that it's a long way and uh, many races to go and many drivers want to be on that position. So it will be a really, really hard fight. Jochen Hahn had technical problems with his new Iveco track in Italy. Will he cut the gap to Lachko and Hahn in his home race? Last race, uh, we calculate the points. In the moment, we have nobody have the stress to, to stay in front. We cannot say, Adam, he is the champion. So. For sure, you say before, three drivers, but from my side we are more drivers than three who, who fight for the championship. The overall standings after two out of nine race weekends. Adam Latchko leading Steffi Halm and Jochen Halm third. It's a very special weekend for Gert Korber. He started his successful career at the Nürburgring exactly 30 years ago, and he was honoured appropriately, of course. <laughs> I had uh, one nice moment with, uh, you know, with the own built truck Phoenix MIN. I was a German master here. I win every races. I win the go and stop. So I win the whole weekend, everything. And also with the with the MINs and with the Sisus and with the with the Bagiras, I, I I win every race. So I had a good, really good thinking moments about the Nürburgring, but also very bad weekends you know when you have some crashes there the pressure is high for everybody how will mr track racing cope with the pressure this year and celebrate strong results to go with his milestone <laughs> david roshetsky contests his first race this season the czech bagheera driver who was struggling with a back problem last year is supposed to support his teammate adam lachko in the fight for the title Now it's the first race and I'm trying if it's okay or not and we will see. Now I'm surviving then it's okay. Andre Kurzin is lying second in the Promoters Cup. The young German driver in number 42 is in striking distance to the man who sprang a surprise on the first two weekends, Jose Rodriguez from Portugal, who sealed his first FIA ETRC victory at the Red Bull Ring. I'm on the second place, that's right. At the moment, everything is okay. Uh, Rodriguez is a little bit slower than me, and I hope I can get the first place this weekend. The grid is always packed in Germany. This year, 21 trucks are registered for the championship. Besides the established drivers, there are nine so-called race-by-race drivers. The most well-known of them is Anthony Janik. The Frenchman contests the race for the Lion truck racing team.
first qualifying, the first super pole for race one, is staged on Friday afternoon due to the packed schedule. A strong Jochen Hahn seals pole position, boasting a 1 minute 54.715 second lap time. He's 15 hundredths clear of 2015 champion Norbert Kisch, who is 1,000th quicker than Antonio Albafetti. That means the Spanish driver will start third on the grid. When you go past the last years, it's every time it's the first and the second sector, it's my sector, and the third sector, it's from somebody. So we know this, and it's my style. So my style, it's for more round, and you know, it's the Mercedes Arena. And with the chicane, I don't know, every time I have problems with chicanes. So it's not the Jochen Hahn chicane? No, but the good point is the chicane is not possible to overtake when you have a good corner before, so from this side, it doesn't matter for the race. Saturday morning at race one, and the conditions in the Eiffel region are rainy and windy. The track is wet, Jochen Hahn is on pole position, and Norbert Kirsch from Budapest lines up alongside him. The second row, Antonio Albafetti starting from third, the Spanish driver just a thousandth of a second slower than Kish. Adam Lachko starts fourth, billed as the favourite for the race, the Czech, a proven rain specialist. You know, Adam, in the past, it's on the wet condition, it's unbelievable fast, so the only thing what we can do is to hold him and look to go for, before him in the, in the, on the start-finish line, that's it. 13 laps are scheduled over the 3.629 kilometre short variant of the circuit. Due to the rain and the very wet track, an additional lap behind the pace truck is added, as is another lap with yellow flags before the race is finally declared underway. Jochen Hahn is in the lead, followed by Kish, Lachko and Albafetti. A battle between three, sometimes four drivers at the head of the field is going to be packed with action. The reigning champion retains the lead in the first six laps. Jochen Hahn's plans work out. Kish and Lachko fail to pass the race leader, and they are busy battling amongst themselves. Even in the Vidol chicane, where the German usually struggles, his pursuers fail to pass him, as can be seen from Lachko's onboard view. Norbert Kish stages the decisive manoeuvre on lap eight. His Mercedes truck passes race leader Jochen Hahn in the Mercedes arena. Hahn retained that leading position for a long time, but finally had to give way. Exactly one lap later, this Antonio Albafetti's onboard view. Adam Lachko appears to have watched the manoeuvre on the previous lap. He passes Hahn for second place at exactly the same spot. At the end of lap nine, Lachko passes Norbert Kish, taking the lead. It's a great battle going on up front, with Lachko now the man in charge. The race order on the left demonstrates the thrilling fight for the podium. I know where is Norby slower, and I try before many, many times, but every time there is a Jochen, and Jochen little bit break Norby, and it's like a chain, a chain reaction. And now when we are alone, it's possible, and I try, and I did it. Jochen Hahn has to push to his limits to stay ahead of Albafetti and retain third place. He gives it everything, racing at its best by both Hahn and Albafetti.
milestone man, Gert Kurber, is lying 10th in the battle for 9th with André Curzin. Jose Rodriguez, the Portuguese driver in the yellow and blue truck number 14, is lurking behind them. Kerber fighting for championship points, whereas Curzin and Rodriguez are aiming for the Promoters' Cup victory. Curzin goes ahead of Kerber, but the German driver isn't taking it lying down. Get Kurba creates a gap to his two pursuers in the closing stages, sealing ninth. Rodriguez passes Andre Kurzim on the last lap at the end of the start-finish straight. The young German not only loses the victory, but also crucial points in the Promoters' Cup. Adam Lachko is in the last few metres of the race. The Czech takes the flag three seconds ahead of Norbert Kisch. Jochen Hahn finishes third, followed by Albertetti and Janik. Adam Lachko and the Bagheera team wrap up the victory in the first race on Saturday. The Czech once again demonstrates his outstanding quality in wet conditions. Behind the top three, Antonio Albatetti, Sasha Lentz and Anthony Janik, who incurred a 10-second penalty for speeding. They're followed by Steffi Halm and Gert Kurba, who finishes eighth due to a penalty against Roszetsky. For us, for driver and also for the spectators, it's a really nice race because we're fighting a lot until maybe three or four laps before the finish and I'm very happy with this because nice race. Adam Lachko tops the podium following a strong display in the rain as usual. We had some three wide with Adam, Johan, me, myself and Adam on the right and uh, and um, things like that. I even Adam overtake me once but I could come right back into second place so that was really good and then finally I overtook Johan, got some laps in the lead but wasn't fast enough to keep Adam behind. A boisterous podium ceremony after Adam Lachko took the maximum 20 points. <laughs> As usual, there's a lot of action off the track at the Nürburgring. Tradition has it that many families visit the Eiffel region for the Truck Grand Prix. It's a blend of motorsport, fairground, music and being up close and personal with the fans that has made this event so exceptional for more than three decades. Representatives of the automotive and the supplier sector, but also truckers and country fans flock to the Eiffel region. For, for 32 years ago, before the first event, a colleague called me and said, I read in the ADAC magazine there's a truck race. You're so fond of trucks and so on. I asked, where? At the Nürburgring. I asked, when? Next weekend, I said, I'll go there. And the atmosphere here, everyone's normal, unlike in the Formula One, you know? A different crowd, more normal. You can go anywhere here, approach the drivers, examine the trucks, have a beer. It's wonderful. It's the 32nd time and we haven't missed a single one yet. The fans are back in the stands to see the US truck parade, the historic trucks and the many, many road trucks. Reverse grid order and a grid walk on Saturday afternoon. The starting grid is a hive of bustle and activity. Both a brass band and pole sitter get Kurba a part of it. The rain just came to an end, so the track is drying. It will be not so good for us why we had a real rain setting now in the truck and when it's going drier and drier, then I think we get in in Steffi Halm, who struggled with her Reinert racing truck in race one, lines up alongside Gert Kurba on the front row. Frenchman Anthony Janik is third and Sasha Lentz fourth on the second row. The young German is a local hero. A total of 115,000 fans flock to the circuit over the four days despite the bad weather. At the start of race two, leader Gert Kurba is on the inside. Behind him, Janik, Halm and Lentz side by side. It's extremely hard for the drivers of these 1,000 plus horsepower trucks to get through the first few corners as the slightest of touches may cause them to spin. 
and it happens. Janik, who almost passed Steffi Harm, is slightly pushed. The Frenchman leaves the track but regains control of his truck, returning in fifth position. A brilliant recovery from the man from Metz, who is about to make an incredible comeback. Adam Lachko passes Jochen Hahn on lap three. The Czech Bagheera Freightliner driver is once more extremely strong in wet conditions. Even a European champion fails to match his pace. Anthony Janik passes Steffi Harm at the Vidal chicane. He's lying fourth now and getting closer to Jochen Harm. The next lap in the same place, Adam Lachko overtakes Gert Kurva on the outside of the Mercedes Arena. The Czech makes the most of his superior traction, taking the lead. Lap six, Janik ahead of Hahn stages an attack against Gert Kurba. The French MAN driver shines with an incredible maneuver on the brakes. Kurba is without a chance. Janik passes for second, an incredible performance after his spin on lap one. The same lap, battle for seventh between Vrasetsky, Albertetti, and Kish. Rosetsky and Albertetti collide at the exit of the Mercedes Arena, slide to the right and hit Norbert Kish. The Hungarian, who almost passed his two rivals, is very unlucky. Following the collision between Rosetsky and Albertetti, Kish's wheel rim and Albertetti's right front wheel are left on a tilt. We touch a little bit at David, go sideways, and then we go to the middle of the, of the road, and uh, Kiss, I think he didn't have enough room to pass, so it's a shame for the three of us, you know, because it was, I think it's, it was a race incident. The Spaniard retires after his right front tyre burst. I see them coming, but I thought that I maybe I can, I can, uh, I can pass, because I had so much speed advantage on the exit compared to them. Uh, but unfortunately not. Uh, Antonio just clipped the, the rear of my truck and yeah, and I got flying and turned around. Norbert Kish continues the race despite a suspension problem and a knock to his wheel rim. He finishes ninth, taking two championship points. Roshetsky finishes 15th. The race becomes a quieter affair now. But out of the last corner comes Adam Lachko, who crosses the finishing line more than 10 seconds clear of Anthony Janik. Gert Kurba is another seven seconds behind in third. Mr. Truck Racing seals a podium finish to mark his milestone. For me, it was clear that I can't uh, win the, this race. But it was also sure, I was not not confident to, to be third. So um, uh, Laco, it's, he, he drives his own races in the rain. We know this. Adam Lachko wraps up his second victory, taking ten crucial championship points. Jochen Hahn fourth and Steffi Hahn fifth drop behind in the overall standings. But it was a great drive in the rain from Anthony Janik. The raining, it's for me. It's for my truck. Uh, I'm very happy, yes. Yeah. Optimal, optimal for me, optimal for my team, for my staff. The fans are happy, flocking to Mullenbach Schleifer on Saturday evening. Usually Formula One drivers fight for positions here, but on Saturday it's given over to the truckers' camp, a hot spot for all fans when it comes to parties. Tom Astor is part of it, of course. He's not just any old artist, he's the leading German country singer. Tom Astor is brilliant. He's an essential part of it. You can forget the Grand Prix if Tom isn't here. And all of that is followed by an impressive firework display. The Nürburgring on Sunday lunchtime. Norbert Kirsch will be starting from P1, his first pole position since Nagaro last year. Jochen Hahn lines up alongside the Hungarian on the front row, only five thousandths slower than weatherman Norbert Kish. 
It depends on the on the weather and it depends on the start itself, you know, and on the first couple of turns, you know, if I can come out in front in the first couple of turns, then then I think I can win. Antonio Albafetti and Adam Lachko will be starting from third and fourth, just like yesterday. Tension for the teams in the pit lane shortly before the third race of the weekend. The race underway, no fewer than four trucks race alongside each other on the start-finish straight. The exit to the Mercedes arena proves it was always destined to end badly. On board with Sasha Lentz, who had a very good getaway. Albafetti spins, Lentz can't avoid a collision and hits the barrier. I suddenly saw Antonio lose control and considered what to do. I went to the right and we crashed at that point, Antonio coming from the left. We couldn't avoid it, I braked, I was at the back of the field after it, tried to fight my way up the order. Norbert Kish is in the lead, followed by Lachko and Hahn, the usual suspects. But Kish makes a mistake, sliding into the gravel trap at the entry to the start-finish straight and rejoins fourth. Just a little bit and my... my front left tyre went into the gravel and there was no grip anymore and I couldn't stay in so very very small mistake but big cost because I lost like three or four places um, and then yeah okay I could come back to second place. Jochen Hahn plays fair on that five he lets Kish pass in the link section of the short version of the track Janik is lurking the Frenchman passes Hahn for third place on lap six. <laughs> Steffi Halm, who struggled with the rain over the whole weekend, fails to keep pace with the head of the field. She's lying fifth ahead of Andre Kurzin and will finish sixth. Adam Lachko is alone at the head of the field, significantly ahead of his pursuers, turning in another brilliant display in the Eiffel region. Jochen Hahn is struggling, he makes a mistake and skids off the track, maybe due to oil on the tarmac. Andre Kurzim, ahead of Steffi Halm now, is lying fourth. Halm in the blue truck is put under pressure by Vyshetsky, who soon passes her. Irving klein Nagelvoort makes the same mistake as Jochen Hahn at the same place. The Dutchman hits the tyre wall. Adam Lachko wraps up his third victory at the Nürburgring this weekend, taking the flag well ahead of Norbert Kisch and Anthony Janik. The other drivers are almost one minute behind. Andre Kurzin finishes fourth following a strong display. Halm sixth. Halm seventh after his mistake towards the end of the race. Jose Rodriguez finishes tenth. It's my best result in the FIA Tuck Racing Championship and uh, yes, it's unbelievable. We're very happy with the result. Uh, the condition was very difficult for us, but for everybody, uh, no, we're on the first place and everybody's okay, yes. Kurzem is speaking of the Promoters' Cup. He seals his second victory in the Cup at the Nürburgring and is only five points short of Jose Rodriguez now. Adam Lachko is at least as happy after winning three out of three races. It's been a great weekend for the Czech driver. On the wet condition it's okay, but after it's coming a lot of diesel or oil to the circuit and it's on the like uh, ice skating because uh, it's everywhere it's on the limit and everywhere it's tough and I'm very happy I finish, I don't make mistake and i on the first position. In fact Adam Lachko has rarely been this happy. It's been a great weekend for him. Everyone's ready for race four, but then sweepers have to be deployed due to a leakage from a vehicle in a support series. An unknown liquid spread all over the tarmac and couldn't be removed in the short time available, despite everyone's best efforts. The race officials are forced to make a very tough decision. To clean it and clear it will probably take two or three days. We tried our best, ADAC tried their best, but we have to reach a decision and on the grounds of safety I invited uh, three drivers to just have a look at it with me just to confirm my thoughts and that my thoughts were it's not safe to race so we've abandoned. The drivers completely agreed with the race director.
We are all sad about this, you know. Uh, no, it's not a normal thing, but I think it was the right decision. They say that we are expecting some more rain, and uh, in the rain it would be really, really dangerous. It's impossible to drive safe, and it's the, the, a good decision to say no, cancel and stop. The best driver of the weekend is presented with a special trophy as a conclusion to the weekend. Not a hard decision this year. Adam Lachko is the truck master Germany. There are no changes at the top of the overall standings. However, Lachko has extended his lead over Steffi Halm to 46 points. Jochen Hahn is lying third, only one point short of Halm. The FIA ETRC next visits the Slovakia ring. The series visits the circuit for the first time. It's going to be action all the way.